On to the 3.30 slate, Joe. We got Navy at Notre Dame. Looks like 62's the total, minus 17 and a half, pretty much across the board. If you're looking to bet Navy, you can find an 18 right now at Bet Online. So betting Navy, Bet Online's the place to do it. Joe, how are you betting this matchup? Yeah, I mean, Notre Dame is coming off a disappointing 41-8 to loss against Miami. Navy did pick up a 43-40 to win over SMU to become bowl eligible. When you look at the last five meetings, Notre Dame has won four of the last five by 17.7 points per game. But the last three games have been decided by 9.3 points per game. And Navy picked up this victory last year in Jacksonville on a neutral field, 28-26. to But I think this is a bad matchup for the midshipmen. I think Notre Dame will come back home. They'll be angry and take out their frustration on an undersized midshipmen defense. You look at Navy overall, they're allowing 165 rushing yards to opposing offenses. Notre Dame still pounding the rock for 303 on the ground. And when you look at Navy in terms of third down defense, they're allowing opposing offenses to convert 43% of the time. They only have 12 total sacks as a defensive unit heading into this ball game. I think Brandon Winbush will put pressure on the Navy defense on the perimeter. That should open up play action for Notre Dame, and I think they blow this game wide open. Another cause of concern is Navy is negative seven in turnover margin. Notre Dame enters this game plus eight. This is an untypical Navy type of team. For, they're committing a lot of turnovers, and I look for Notre Dame to exploit Navy's defense, not just on the ground, but through the air. Navy's allowing 245 passing yards per game. I think Notre Dame rolls in a big way, 52-17. to 17, The Fighting Irish dominate this ball game in their last home game in South Bend for the season. All right, Joe, so you're on the Irish plus or minus 17 in the hook in this one. Another 330 slate game, K-State versus Oklahoma State. Looks like Oklahoma State's minus 21. You can find a 20 and a half right now. 62 the total. This one, um, they're in Stillwater in Oklahoma. So how are you looking to bet this Big 12 matchup, Joe? Well, you look at the uh, Oklahoma State's won three of the last five by only four points per game. They won this game in Manhattan last year, 43 to 37. Mason Rudolph led a, a one minute drive in the end to pull that game out in Kansas State. But I think this is a bad matchup for the Wildcats. You look at Oklahoma State as an offense, they're rushing for 194 yards on the ground, still passing for 378 through the air. Mason Rudolph is completing 64% of his passes, 3,690 yards, 30 touchdowns, seven interceptions. He's going to be facing a Kansas State secondary that's giving up 303 passing yards to opposing offenses. That's Kansas State's highest passing defense total since prior to the 2008 season. Over the last four games, Kansas State is giving up 401 passing yards per game. They've allowed 11 uh, touchdowns during that span and have only forced five interceptions. And when you look at Kansas State's offense entering this ball game, they're pedestrian. They're running for 192 yards on the ground and only uh, passing for 183 yards through the air. I think Oklahoma State starts fast, puts the pressure on Kansas State to match them score for score. And I really feel that Oklahoma State bounces back in a big way. They open it up 48 to 17 over Kansas State. Kansas State looking to become bowl eligible, but I think this is a bad matchup for the Wildcats. The Cowboys roll in this ball game. All right, Oklahoma State minus 20 in the hook in that one. So uh, two big favorites there, Joe. And going into the, the last 330 game here, we got Purdue, Iowa in the Big Ten. Looks like Iowa minus seven and a half. And some opinion in this one. Bet Online has has Iowa at minus nine, so uh, a point and a half difference there in between the seven and a half and nine on the SBR odds screen right now. Forty one the total. How are you looking to bet this Big Ten matchup, Joe? Yeah, I like Purdue here. You look at the series, Iowa's won four straight over the Boilermakers by 18 points per game. Purdue is four and six and played very well on the road against Northwestern, uh, a Northwestern team that seems to be playing better as the season progresses. They lost that ball game by 10 points, but they played very well in run support. You look at Purdue, it is back-to-back road games, but they're fighting to become bowl eligible. They're sitting at four and six overall. This is a Purdue offense 
offense that's still running the football consistently right around 150 yards on the ground, passing for two fifth, uh, right around 245 yards through the air. And when you look at their defense overall, Drew, that's where I think Purdue can be in this ballgame. They're allowing 139 rushing yards to opposing offenses, but over the last three games against Illinois, Nebraska, and Northwestern, Purdue is only allowing 71.8 rushing yards per game and have only allowed one rushing touchdown heading into this ball game over the last three games. When you look at Iowa overall, they're only rushing for 131 yards per game entering this ball game and only have two rushing touchdowns over the last four games. This is still a pedestrian offense. Iowa's only averaging 200 passing yards through the air. They're giving up 157 rushing yards to opposing offense and 213 through the air. I think the up-tempo of Purdue will force Iowa's defense to get worn out. I think they push Iowa to the limit at home. I think Iowa wins, but I think it's a very close ball game. I think Iowa wins a three-point game in this ball game. I think boy, the Purdue Boilermakers match up very well against the Hawkeyes in this matchup. I'm taking the points with Purdue. All right, Boilermakers plus nine, which you can get at Bet Online right now. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.